hard working man over here. He never had no attitude. He he was always like pleasant to be around. You know, he's one of them people, you know, pers people's person. You know, he's just he was just like amazing. You know? Loved ones remembering a man who was killed when a tornado swept through St. Land Landry Parish over the weekend. That EF3 tornado brought winds up to 140 miles per hour to Palmetto Saturday. The storm is being blamed for the death of one man. Kaylee Norman has more with the victim's relative and how he's being remembered tonight. It's our top story. Behind me is all that's left of Igoretta's home that was destroyed by the tornado on early Saturday morning. I spoke with his cousin Juan Enriquez this morning, who is remembering Igoretta as a kind man and a hard worker. Igoretta recently moved to Palmetto from Mexico in January of this year, leaving behind his wife, Cynthia, and a daughter, Samantha, to pursue a career as a crawfish farmer in the area. Igoretta planned to go back home after the season was over in June to be with his family until next season picked back up again. Unfortunately, his plans were changed on Saturday morning. Enriquez tells me that it started with a phone call from Igoretta's boss. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was bad news because nobody gets a call at 3 o'clock in the morning. He told me that my cousin was being rushed to the hospital. Igoretta was found in a ditch with a broken arm and leg after being ejected from his home. At 6 o'clock in the morning, he called me and he said that he had passed away. Enriquez says that the last conversation he had with his cousin was Friday evening. He told me that on that day he, got, he caught 70 sacks of crawfish and, and, you know, he said, man, you know, this is the most I ever caught in, in one day. And I say, I think, you know, I think Sunday I'm, I'm going to go by and get some crawfish and then we can come to the house and boil them. He said, oh, that sounds great. Enriquez tells me that Igoretta's body is being transported back to Mexico, where he will be buried among friends and family back home. Reporting in Palmetto, I'm Kaylee Norman, KTC TV3.